Have you ever seen a game that's really good, that's really jam-packed with great story, cool characters, awesome combat, and then suddenly they're doing a remake even though it just got released? Because apparently that's what's happening with Horizon Zero Dawn. This game released five years ago and somehow Sony has decided to completely rebuild the game and probably sell it for $70. Well, let's talk about that. What's up gamers, Dreamcast guy here. So, um, I'm actually extremely sick right now. Um, I've been completely bedridden all day. I'm running a very, very high fever. My vision is a bit goofy, but this story is so funny. And honestly, I was so bored just sitting here feeling miserable that I had to talk about it. Horizon Zero Dawn Remaster, Remake, and a multiplayer game currently in full-blown development. The Horizon Zero Dawn Remake Remaster is said to feature improved lighting, textures, animations, models, and accessibility options. <laughs> Let me tell you here, this is, uh, this is so funny. <laughs> Uh, while we just got a remake for The Last of Us, it looks like PlayStation may not quite be done with remakes just yet, as this source close to the situation, who wishes not to be named, has revealed that a Horizon Zero... Oh god, I'm so sick. ...has revealed to us that Horizon Zero Dawn Remake is in the works for the PlayStation 5. If you thought The Last of Us Part 1 divided players, well, this game is, uh, even more new. <laughs> God, this is so ridiculous. It's only five years old, and the sequel released earlier this year. Our source did not elaborate whether this is a built-from-the-ground-up style of remake, which, remember, they did claim for The Last of Us Part 1. However, we are told the remake features an improved lighting system with ambient inclusion and such, overhauled textures, better animations, and new character models to match the sequel Horizon Forbidden West. To get a better understanding, we have a bunch of these comparison shots. Now, let me be very clear. I beat the heck out of Horizon Zero Dawn. I beat the heck out of Horizon Forbidden West. I'm actually very close to the platinum on Horizon Forbidden West. I can definitely say that Forbidden West, um, I do think that people sort of bag on Forbidden West a bit, saying it didn't advance gameplay enough, it didn't jump enough over the original. In my opinion, Forbidden West is in almost every aspect, a much bigger, better game. It has better talent trees, it's got better combat systems. Forbidden West is a very, very, very good game, but I've always definitely enjoyed the story of Zero Dawn much more. I've said this before, but I actually cried at the ending of Horizon Zero Dawn. It's just that freaking beautiful. But to me, a graphical overhaul is not what Zero Dawn needs. This is just not exactly what I think of as like, wow, what an amazing new feature. But also, didn't they do, they did one of those free update patches already for Horizon Zero Dawn, where playing it on PlayStation 5 makes it run at like 60 frames a second in uh, 4K. So like, what is this really going to do? Outside of that, we were told this big focus on bringing the accessibility options that the sequel introduced. Different graphics modes will also be available, though that's a given since most PS5 games offer performance, quality, and uncapped performance. This is so weird. For gameplay changes, okay, this is what I actually care about, there are subtle improvements, mostly being the quality of life improvements the sequel brought. It hasn't been confirmed whether or not we'll be able to see flyable mounts or a glider, though, as we suppose this would be unlikely given that story-related, it just doesn't exist yet. Okay, so if this does actually have... Uh, the biggest thing is that in the original Horizon Zero Dawn, melee was very bad. Actually, punching the robot dinosaurs was not exceedingly fluid. They fixed it so that you have so much more combat options in uh, Forbidden West that made the game much, much, much better. Um, this is just so weird. It, it, it's weird they're doing it for PS5 and PC. Now, down here, they said they're working on a multiplayer game as well. This is just so weird. Oh, it's confirmed. Oh, this is so weird. I, I just, I, I'm so shocked that they would be doing this. Now, a Horizon Online multiplayer game, um, I think could be cool if we make our own little character and like maybe do missions taking down particular big beasties. Like think of uh, Sony doing their own Monster Hunter, but with big old robots. I, I guess I'm not completely against the idea of the multiplayer game because at least it's new. The weirdness is 
that it's Horizon Zero Dawn. This just came out so recently. Every single reply is like, wow, this is so unnecessary. Uh, release one remake without multiplayer for $70. Release another remake with multiplayer for $70. Sony, can you please chill out with the remasters? But first, give us Bloodborne. So this is actually what I tweeted out myself too, is that this is the weirdest part. As I said, WTF, why are you remaking a game that just came out that is still good, that still is so fantastic? And also, they're remastering every game Blood Bloodborne. It, it's... It's baffling to me, and honestly, it's confusing to me because Sony's motivations are obviously very profit-based. They're trying to make the most money possible for the least amount of work. If I could just make the biggest assumption here, if I could put on my speculation hat, I bet that this is just being done by some newly created C team. Obviously, over at Sony, they have people that are working on the big new games. They have people working on, on DLC. They have people working on VR games. They got people porting stuff to PC. I bet that they have formed a team of people who are just good at animations and ambient lighting and really good textures and stuff like that. And they got all those people together to do these remakes. My problem is, you know, you know it's going to cost $70. I like Horizon Zero Dawn a lot. I, I like Horizon Forbidden West almost more. My, my biggest problem with Horizon Forbidden West is honestly the ending of the game being so freaking bad. I am just confused as to what is the point of this beyond the profit? A lot of times I do feel like Sony, what I've enjoyed with it is that their games are so good, it feels like it advances the platform. Like honestly, uh, uh, Uncharted 4 is so great it's helped sell a bunch of playstation 4s that's so freaking great or when i think of something like titanfall 1 which was an xbox exclusive sold a lot of xboxes obviously games like uh, mario odyssey and splatoon 3 and stuff like that those sell a lot of nintendo switches is a horizon remake is the last of us remake are these remakes really going to sell ps5s i don't think they are this does just feel like one of those weird times where Sony knows that they have such a die-hard fan base of collectathon people that want to buy the games and beat the games and platinum the games and get every different version of it. I, even as a person that loves this, I am baffled. Baffled by this. Very, very strange. Hopefully this advances something gameplay-wise because as it stands, this is just... This just seems like a bad move. But what do you guys think about it? Are you excited for a Horizon Forbidden West remake? No. Hi Horizon Zero Dawn remake? Are you guys excited for a Horizon Zero Dawn remake? Please tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And uh, please like the video and keep dreaming. And subscribe. Did I? I'm so, I'm so sick. I'll be honest. My vision is swimming. I am very out of it. I also only turned on one spotlight, so I can't turn on the green screen. Hmm. I apologize. Okay, upload. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you wanna see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last, or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.